Hello, I'm Paul Gregg and I live in Texas, just uh, in a town just a little bit north of Houston, Humble, H-U-M-B-L-E, Humble, Texas. With the election coming up, I'd like to share a few things that's on my heart. In Texas, I want to remind our Texas voters, you can no longer vote straight ticket. You're going to have to start at the top voting for president all the way down to the bottom, wherever, whoever is on your uh, ballot. Please, please go all the way through the ballot. It's going to take you some extra time, but please do so. Vote for president. I'm hoping you'll vote for President Trump. And if you haven't turned me off by now, then pay attention a little bit to the rest of what's on my heart. When I mention Trump, I don't mean that you should vote just for the man. I mean, and I hope that people will vote thinking long-term, thinking direction our country is going, thinking what they want their children and grandchildren to live under. If you want socialism, if you want eventually Marxism and communism, then you will vote for the other side. I'm a book reader. I know there are books out there bashing Trump and bashing the Republican Party and bashing this and bashing that. I know there are mistakes made on both sides. I know that uh, sometimes things are said that are taken out of context. I know that there's so much political um, upheaval in our nation right now. As a book reader, some books that have really helped me take, uh, fortify my side. Here's one, Sean Hannity's Live Free or die. Excellent, excellent book. Think about where that country of ours is going. Think about the what you want in America, and I think that book will help you. When it comes to the Supreme Court, Ted Cruz has written One Vote Away, How a Single Supreme Court Seat Can Change History. He's got some really interesting historical things in there. When it comes to liberal versus uh, leftist, one book helped me uh, understand a little bit better, and it's uh, American Crusade by Pete Hegseth, who's on Fox. Um, he talked about liberals, people... Uh, who are at uh, probably the lowest level, like my level, um, who may have some parallel beliefs that I do. We may differ in some areas, but the liberal will is the type of person who may say, well, we voted Democrat all our life, and my mom and dad voted Democrat, and if I don't vote Democrat, they're going to just uh, disown me. Um, and so they vote for liberal politicians. The leftist, though, has underlying um, philosophy, drive to reform, reshape America into the socialist country that they want. Um, and so Pete's book helped me understand my liberal friends and differences that we have. And I've got two or three that we can get together. We can actually talk things out and agree to disagree and still be friends. But I claim no friend who is a true leftist. Um, Dinesh D'Souza had, has recently come out with United States of Socialism. This book is an excellent book telling us where we're headed. I would recommend two more of his books. One is Death of a Nation, and the other one that was so, so fundamentally um, a blessing to me was The Big Lie. And you're not going to like me when I say a couple things about the Democrat Party. 
um, you know that the Republican Party had so much to say uh, way back when. Uh, the Republican Party freed the slaves. The Republican Party uh, allowed blacks to vote and women. Uh, the Republican Party did all kinds of things. But then the Democrats back then were the ones who wanted to keep the slaves on the plantation and keep them under their thumb. Now, here's what I'm going to say, and you're not going to like it. In uh, the book, The Big Lie, we find out that, in essence, the Democrat leftists of today are keeping folks on a, I'll say, spiritual, social, economic plantation and the Republicans are trying their best to awaken people that there is a better way of living if they will apply themselves. So I'd like to go longer. I'd like to get more in depth. But for now, I'd just like to say, get out and vote and pray for our country. Pray for our leaders. Pray for our president who has attacked who has been attacked every day since he came down that escalator and said he was going to run for president. Please have heartfelt prayers for our country and for our leaders. Thank you.